Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do a tassel by hand without any major tools. I hope you'll stay tuned. Well, it's easy to do if you have these scissors because you can just basically cut a strip. All right, I'll show you both ways. Here is the way you do it using these scissors. You're going to start with a piece of cardstock and let me tell you how long this is so that you have the right dimensions. This is seven inches long by two and a half inches tall. It's not a really heavyweight cardstock. That's important. You don't want a super heavy cardstock. You're going to take, this is, I'm showing you how to do it with grass shears. And you're going to do this by taking your scissors and cutting as up to about, I don't know, I think that's probably about a half an inch from the top. And you're going to continue. I need two hands to do these scissors because they're uh, not the easiest things for me to, to squeeze. So I just put them down and do that. Some people have tassel dies. If you have a tassel die, it, it uh, basically works the same as these scissors do. So here is what I think the easiest way to roll these to get started. What I recommend is you can start at either end. I'm going to start at this end because it's closest to me right now. I'm going to use a little skewer to get this started. You want to have a small circle in the inside of your tassel. And I'm just going to get that started with my tool. And then I'll be right back. I just need to get the first couple rows. Can you see how tight that is? What I would recommend at this point is you'd either put some tear tape. And I'm going to use tear tape just because um, I think it makes it easier to curl this and I'm going to put it right along the top all the way down to the very end. This will make it so that when you're turning your tassel it's going to be easy to hold in place. So I just took the backing off. Okay, I'm going to go back to the beginning again. I'm going to get my my circle started. The smaller it is at the beginning, the better it's going to be. And you want to stay, you want to keep your your circle straight. And I'll show you that in a second. I just want to get into the into the tear tape. Okay. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. Do you see how tight the circle is? And you see that there's an opening in the middle? You want that because that's where you're going to be putting your um, you're going to be putting your ribbon in the inside to hold the to hold the tassel up. And you want to continue when you do your turns. You want to make sure that you that your top is still straight. You don't want your um, paper to go off kilter like mine is right now. I gotta re refold. And if you have to keep straighten it, that's okay, because you just need to make sure that it's straight at the top or else it'll look stupid. And the reason you want as long of a paper as this, I know I'm off camera, the reason you want it to be as long as it is, is because you need a lot of paper to make your tassel kind of thick at the bottom, you know, in the, um, where you, where you cut all these little strips, you need it to be you need it to be thicker down there. I'm going to have Rich fast forward through this part so that you can, you don't have to wait to get the gist of it. If it's taller in the center than it is on the outside, you can just do this and that'll make it flat. See? That is what a tassel looks like when you make it out of the grass cutting shears. Now let me get you another piece of paper. And we'll cut a piece that is the same, seven inches. Now this one takes a little bit longer to do. 
it's not hard it just takes a while okay now I'll show you what we're gonna do you're gonna get your scissors now this is if you don't have those other scissors and you're just going to cut little strips close together and you're gonna cut them about three quarters of the way up your card you can it doesn't you can have it lower or taller but the higher it is the more they will uh, spread out then we're going to do it basically you're going to do it the same way you want to start by creating a curl and use something that you can curl your paper around like a skewer or something else that's rounded and then once you can get it a little bit rounded you need to tuck that end in I got my end started I hope it'll stay in place then I'm going to take tear tape I'm going to run it the whole length to the end it is way easier if you um, if your paper is lighter weight because when it's thicker like this one's a little bit thicker than the other one that I did and it makes it a little bit harder to turn in a circle you, sometimes you get like a crease it shouldn't look bad you know the final the final piece shouldn't look bad it's just right now it's not the prettiest when the paper is as thick as this one I'm going to show you I'm gonna, uh, fix the bottom so it's a little bit more frisky now look at the top of this one versus the top of this one see much, how much tighter this is and there's a lot more paper in there than this one okay then here's what you want to do next I'm going to do both of these at the same time you're going to take another uh, little piece of tear tape and we're going to go around the top about I would say an eighth of an inch from the top of the tassel because we're gonna that's where we're gonna hide our well that's where we're gonna put our ribbon that we're gonna wrap around it so here's what our first ta tassel looks like so I wanted to show you how I did the finishing work on it. In my case, I'm using this silver cording. You're going to take off the backing all the way around. And then we're just going to lay that silver into the tear tape. Wrap it around until it goes exactly meets the other side, basically. Put a little bit of glue under that. So my tear tape didn't want to go all the way around there. So I'm just going to push that in there and then I'm going to take my clothespin, hopefully, and squeeze it down. We'll do that until it sets up. This one, I was smart enough to have a little bit of extra tear tape. You see that piece that's sticking up? We're going to leave that there. And then we're going to, on beneath it, we're going to lay some tear tape, or the, our silver and then because we have that extra little bit even when we're when we come past our end we have that little bit extra of the tear tape to hold our extra down with so unlike the other one where we had to glue it now we don't have to do that and I'm gonna fluff her This is the one that had roughly maybe six inches of, um, of 
paper and this one had seven inches. Then to make the piece that goes inside Remember I talked about if your ribbon is kinky and, and you don't have a hair straightener? Well, I'm going to show you how to straighten it without a hair straightener. You're going to take water. This is only water. See that kink that's right there? We're going to put water on it. And then I'm just going to pull it. Put water on the other side. If yours, like this is very thick, it's you know, it's a metallic ribbon, so it's very thick. And if you play with it long enough, it should, the kink should come out to a point that you can work with it. Okay, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the other end. Not the other end. I'm going to show you how we're going to attach it into our um, the top of our tassel. It's very simple. It takes a little bit of finesse though. Okay, this is, let's see how long this is. I want to make sure you know how much I played with. This is about five inches worth of ribbon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Tim Holtz scissors because these work best for this kind of project. This is really fibrous ribbon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down the sides and make it almost into a point like that. Can you see that? I'm going to do the same thing on this side. See, almost a point. Then we'll do this one first. What you need to do is you need to get your your ribbon to stick in that hole and in my case the hole isn't super big but my ribbon kind of is so that's why when you cut the points it works to your advantage I'm gonna put wet glue down inside that hole and all around the top that'll make sure that the top doesn't fold it doesn't move down on itself. Okay, then you're going to take your two ends and hopefully you can line them up like that and then I'm going to push them in there. Sometimes you can push one at a time, sometimes you can push both and then I take something pointy. In this case I'm going to use my Tim Holtz scissors and I'm just going to push one end or no, no end. Hopefully you can see this. Pushing one end down in there. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing with the other part of the ribbon. You're just going to hopefully push it down in there. Making the point helps it, helps you to get it started. And then once you've got it started, it's all about continuing to push it in there. That one piece doesn't want to go in there. Sometimes it works better if you use something like a dowel that you can push it with. Because what you want to do is get it started. There it's started. There. I think that's pretty good. And then I'm going to add a little bit more wet glue over the top. And you're not going to want to hang this on anything until you're sure that it's set up, you know, that the glue is holding on to it really well. And I kind of tap it down like that to get the um, get the glue to move. And then if the if the glue is up on the ribbon, I use another piece of scrap and just kind of push it down so that it's more into the tassel and onto the ribbon and then I just set that aside and then we're going to get our other tassel. Now this one because I squeezed it it has more of an uh, of a oval shape and that will work to our advantage. So then I'm going to cut off probably another I think this is going to be a longer strip because I want this one to 
hang down on the on my project longer so it's going to be about a foot long I think that's too long I think I'm going to make it more like 10 inches long then all we're going to do is the same thing we're going to cut these on an angle and then you're going to turn it over cut the other side so it's more like a point. Then we're going to put our glue into the top like we did before. Then I'm going to stick my two points or maybe you just want to do one point at a time. I'm, I'm uh, too impatient. I like to go crazy and push both of them in there at the same time but we'll do one at a time this time for you guys. So I have one point I'm going to push it into the top. Here's one of them. And then all we need to do is get our other point and our scissors. And I'm just going to shove that point, hopefully, down in there. And more glue. Again, this is kind of the important part is the is the getting the glue to set up on either side of that ribbon. And as I said, if you have a lot of glue up at the top, just kind of push it down and see if there's a place that you can shove it into the project, you know, like push it into the sides. So those are are tassels and I'll make sure I show you how to use them. I'm going to make a gift bag and I'm going to show you how to use them on that. I hope that you enjoyed this and that you give them a thumbs up and subscribe and please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that and thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.